Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, we'll talk about phenylketonuria with a true story to help you remember it. With that said, now let's get started. Have you ever heard of the term olfactory diagnosis? Yes, indeed. You can use your nose to diagnose your patient. The usefulness of the doctor's nose as a diagnostic tool was recognized more than 2,000 years ago by freaking Hippocrates. Let me tell you a story, a true story from Egypt. A mother took her child to a pediatrician complaining of, Doctor, my child is acting strangely. He's not learning. He's not keeping up with his peers. And he smells like a rat, but whenever I say this to any doctor, they make fun of me. The competent doctor responded, Don't worry, I will never make fun of you. But tell me more about yourself. Are you married? Yes. Are you related to your husband? Yes, I married the doofus. He is my husband. No, that's not what I meant. I meant before you marry him. Were you related? Were you relatives? Oh yeah, he's my cousin. That's consanguinity, baby. Whenever you hear consanguinity, this increases the risk of an autosomal recessive disease. Add to this the fact that this baby had low birth weight, decreased head circumference, and a lighter skin, and boom, the doctor remembered something. This could be phenylketonuria, and if this is diagnosed early, this baby can be prevented from becoming intellectually disabled. So the doctor said to the mother, hey, listen to me, right now there is only one lab in the entire country that can order the test for PKU. But please, I beg you to do it. You'll have to travel to Cairo to do this. But hey, Medicosis, why didn't this doctor uh, take the blood sample and then ship it to Cairo via a helicopter? A helicopter? Dude, this is Ben Halasal, Egypt, not freaking Boston, Massachusetts. So the mother took her baby to Cairo to the lab, and make no mistake about it, the baby had deficiency of phenylalanine hydroxylase. Now what's gonna happen if this enzyme is deficient? Oh, phenylalanine is gonna go up, tyrosine is gonna go down. And therefore, how would you treat a patient with phenylketonuria? A special diet that is deficient in phenylalanine, but rich in tyrosine. That is a competent doctor. Unlike a doofus who's like, oh, well, let me just refer the kid to psychiatry. They will prescribe some learning programs and quote, intense rehabilitation, which means absolutely nothing. The mother came back to the doctor. Hey, doctor, do you remember me? I'm the mother of the PKU child. The interesting thing about this is that this mother cannot read or write, yet she was able to say PKU child. This doctor took the concept of patient education to the next level. Yet today we have medical students running around having no idea what phenylalanine is. Boy, humanity is in trouble. My child has caught up with other peers. He is learning. He is leading a normal life now. Thank you. You changed our lives. This is such a wholesome story. I could not have made it up even if I wanted to. But hey, Medicosis, this is fiction. I don't believe you. Listen to this story about Dr. Falling described at Sapira's Art and Science of Bedside Diagnosis. Quote, The apocrypha of my student days taught me that the mother of the first child diagnosed as having PKU took her child from pediatrician to pediatrician, complaining that the child smelled musty like a mouse. Each dismissed her as unbalanced until Dr. Falling finally agreed to smell the child before laughing at its mother. To his surprise, the child indeed smelled musty, like a mouse. Because of the chain of events that he set in motion, the mandatory testing of our days makes it unlikely that anyone will have to smell that particular odor again. Dr. Falling left a legacy. In many countries today, screening for PKU is routine for every child. An early diagnosis can prevent seizures, intellectual disabilities, and brain damage. So when are you going to get your head out of your sphincter? The means of learning are abundant. It's the desire to learn that is scarce. Preach. But hey, medicosis, I'm suffering throughout my chemistry. My friend, suffering ceases to be suffering the moment it finds meaning. Didn't you go to college in order to help patients? What happened to you? One daily observes patients for whom the history and physical exam could lead one to the correct diagnosis. Hours, days, 
heck, even weeks before it can be achieved by those who rely solely on modern technology. If I could think I had sent a spark to those who come after, I should be ready to say goodbye. Too much wisdoming in my videos. Let's review phenylketonuria from Picmonic. Phenylketonuria is depicted by a phoenix with a ketone key. We have a decreased phenylalanine hydroxylase depicted as a down arrow phoenix aladdin hydrolase. Or it could be caused by a decreased tetrahydrobiopterin cofactor, the down arrow BH4. PKU is an autosomal recessive disease, a recessive rhesus chocolate. And since these patients cannot make tyrosine, tyrosine will become an essential amino acid for these patients. The essential tyre, tyrosine, essential. These patients should avoid artificial sweeteners that contain phenylalanine. Symptoms include a musty body odor, growth retardation, seizures, here is seizure, intellectual disability, formerly mental retardation, here is the Tard book, and hypopigmentation, here is the hippo with light pigments. Picmonic is just doozy. Of more than 800 videos on YouTube, and I have more videos on my website, such as my antibiotics course. Learn about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications at medicosisperfectionalist.com. And for the next one student only, you can get a 25% discount towards anything on my website. Just use promo code SAVE25 at checkout. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses, go to Picmonic for more than 1,400 animated medical mnemonics. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.